working back here on the big off-grid solar today and I'm gonna do a little walkthrough for you I didn't film myself doing all this but it's uh, the way it is so I moved the big MPPT charge controller up it was down here low and it was covering a nasty spot of wood I don't know what happened to the wood you can kind of see part of it screwed up back there so I just busted off a piece of thin plywood and put that over to cover up most of this black nasty so I could actually see the wiring and whatever so I got it kind of neatly dot done in so we got the uh, positive from the solar right here we got the negative from the solar there got the negative from the battery there which goes down and goes in behind and uh, I'm using this heavy gauge wire and hopefully that hole is big enough to fit the battery terminals and for here we have the positive for the battery terminal it's going through a fuse right here big ceramic fuse and it goes back down and it's about the same length as the other and hopefully that all hooks up to the battery when it comes and I got the computer wire and the temperature probe uh, I didn't drill holes for those because the computer wire is a big old USB or Ethernet port thing so I didn't have a drill bit big enough and that'd be a hell of a mess so I just ran that one uh, that away and this one tucked in behind this wood here um, and strapped in and they're off to the side here and the battery sitting there ready to rip um, so that's pretty good now if I ever get more batteries um, if I'm lucky enough to afford that <laughs> uh, I can also extend these wires um, and uh, make things more likable there so um, inverter you guys seen me do in a previous video a little bit on that so I have the Net, or the positive wire hooked up tightened in taped up ready to go to an on off switch that way I can um, sh when I when connecting uh, the switch to the battery I don't have sparky sparky going on so I just shut this off here until it's fully connected then I can turn that on and now you will be able to shut off my inverter via this switch pretty good um, I got I prepared the other ends of the wire so the positive here I got the terminal on there and it's gonna go on the other end of this switch and go into the battery and same with uh, uh, this guy uh, this negative is just gonna go directly onto the inverter and go right to the battery so hopefully everything fits nicely in here I still got to figure out loads um, I want to run these lights uh, and power them off the uh, lithium-ion battery and so I need to build a load center of some sort here um, uh, and I think I will drill holes and run the load center across here and have the wire come in from in behind the board and then connect all my wiring onto load centers because I need a positive and negative um, that hook up to the battery and that will run on my 12 volt gear like uh, I have little 12 volt sockets um, there's the bus bars I can use for this actually which is sweet so I can use uh, 12 volt sockets um, anything I want basically for 12 volt loads it's mostly going to be lighting and anything else I can think of and then this monster uh, surge protector this will be plugged into the inverter and all my 120 volt connections will go through this because this is a, a super conditioner as well uh, even though you don't really need it for the pure sine wave it's best to have something that has built-in circuit breaker and really good protection the monster brand and I've had that for a while so um, I think things are looking good 
um, uh, from what I read in the uh, manual for this MPPT charge controller, um, this guy uh, I have to set to gel because it then it won't will disable the equalization mode. And this is uh, model ET. 6415BND and what is the this is the 60 amp version this I think what's it say 60 amp 75 amps yep so perfect this is the big boy this is 60 amps so um, what the purpose of this is is I'm going to be hauling in a lot of high voltage of six solar panels in series. That's all going to get pumped into this guy. And this guy will convert it down to 12 volts, leaving a ton of amps left over to push into the battery. And I'm probably going to end up having to just to leave the inverter on all the time and standby because that's uh, quite a bit. Now, the other thing I got to manage here, this is a long, long cable that I can shut the inverter off from a quite a distance. And I need to mount this on the wood too. Um, that way I can shut the inverter off here via remote switch. So, um, I need to cut a square hole for this and put this maybe up here next to the uh, above the MPPT charge controller something that looks okay there because um, I don't plan on having this run across the entire trailer even though I could with the amount of cord they give you but uh, I gotta tie all that in so I'll have to drill in a hole there somehow um, probably I'm gonna have to get some spade bits or something um, I should buy some from Wish just to have some on hand in the trailer because I use them often and it's something I never have really um, oh yeah so oh yeah um, these all this wiring here guys um, this heavy gauge stuff other than these two from the solar that came from the solar the, uh, these wires are a little bit heavier gauge than these, obviously. And these came off of these guys, the jumper cables that I stripped from power packs. So that's where I got these uh, connections from. And man, did that work nice. That just works sweet. So hopefully everything is good. Oh, I have backup ceramic uh, fuses as well. I have two more. Not that I should be going through any. But I have two more that I also salvaged from those battery packs, um, the power packs there. So that's pretty sweet. Um, and I'm also thinking about bringing my baby. I have a small computer. And uh, I just want to look at this. This is USB. Yeah, so that is USB connection. So I have a small computer that I may uh, bring over here. Now it's not a 12 volt computer, it's like a 19 volt, it's something stupid. But um, it's my old baby PC, and I think I'm gonna bring him over and we'll use him as a data processor to keep uh, tabs on the um, settings for the MPPT charge controller, if it will even run it. Because I know it's just a uh, number cruncher, but my old computer, Oh man, if you guys, Stu, Stu High Tech Guy knows all about that. Um, I couldn't even do Google Hangouts or anything with that thing hardly without running a fan on it because it just it didn't have the processing power. And um, it's not a gaming computer whatsoever. It was like a, uh, I don't even know what it is. It was like a netbook almost or something. But hopefully that computer will be able to run it um, if not I have um, my dad has an old laptop that I might possibly be able to use though 
I don't know what type of window settings we'll need and there's the data disk I need for that to happen but um, that's all um, you know extras where I can go in and show you guys all the data which would be nice um, though I do need a monitor of some sort for that um, yeah so hmm that'll be interesting um, <laughs> maybe a laptop is the best option. I'll have to see if he's got his old laptop still, um, somewhere. And I know he's not using it anymore because he's upgraded. So uh, I should be able to borrow that and use that here full time as a data cruncher. I think it's a little bit better than my baby PC. And it has a, a screen, obviously, so I don't have to hook up a... 12 volt TV or anything like that. Um, yeah, I think that'll work. So, um, yeah, I hear weird noises on the roof. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna hook up my ladder and go up here. Make sure none of my solar panels have been ripped down or that could be possibly rain catchment bouncing around, which is not good. I heard there to, just today though, when I was here, so when I'm working on when I was in here working on this. So we'll figure something out. But anyway. Um, this guy's pretty much getting close to being ready to hook up and I'm keeping the solar off until I get everything programmed properly and even on the jail settings I think I have to edit you guys hear that that's what I'm talking about I got to go outside and check that and I'm pretty much out of here for today because um, I got to work tomorrow I can't be screwing around. I got to go see out, see what's going on out there. But yeah, I will give you some more updates as time goes on. Lights out from the off-grid tiny house.